Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I produce my videos using my new Mac Mini. Stay tuned. Well, here is my new Mac Mini. It is the 2012 model, just came out a couple of days ago. Now, the one remarkable thing about this is how small it is, and the power supply is actually in this little unit. You don't have one of them big power bricks. Now, the way that I have this hooked up to my monitor is through the HDMI port on the back, and I, it comes with this converter right here. And it comes with that, and it converts it to DVI. What we are looking at right now is the back of the Mac Mini. That's where most of the stuff is going on. The front, all it has is a LED power light and an infrared port. The sides have nothing. The top has nothing but the Apple logo. But the back, all kinds of stuff. You have your power button. You have where the cord to plug it in plugs into here and then into your wall or your surge protector or battery backup. Again, the power supply is built into this unit, so you do not have a power brick. You have your Giganet, <laughs> Giger, Giganet Ethernet port, a Firewire 800 port, an HDMI port, which you can plug in the dongle that comes included to convert it to DVI. You have a Thunderbolt port, four USB 3 ports, an SD slot, and it's also an extended version, so you can use the bigger cards, and you have a audio in and audio out. Now some of you may have noticed it has this slot right here. That's where the hot air blows out. It doesn't just come out of my mouth or my butt. Unlike some of the Mac Minis of the past, like uh, I think 2009, which was my last Mac Mini, it, you needed a paint scraper to get into the thing to pop clips internally here on the edges. However, this new one, they got smarter and they put this little door where you just sort of turn it See this little white dot here? You just turn it to the, this spot right here, to this other dot, and you open it up. Now you can see how easy it is to get to the memory right here. And this can go up to 16 gigs. And you can also, uh, underneath here, get to the hard drive and replace it with a larger hard drive or faster hard drive, like a solid state. I'd like to just briefly show you the features. Now I bought the basic cheapo model, which only cost $5.99. I know only, but that's pretty cheap for a Mac. But they do make a, another version here that's $7.99. The cheaper one uses an i5 processor, and the more expensive one uses a i7, which is a quad core. The basic model comes with a 500 gig hard drive, the more expensive one comes with a terabyte, or you can configure it for other drives such as a solid state drive. Both machines come with a Intel HD Graphics 4000. Um, the model that I got came with 4 gigs. It basically comes with two, uh, two, 2 gigs, so if you want to upgrade you're going to have to buy two more. You got to take these entirely out and you could go up to 8 or 16 and it uses the 1600 megahertz DDR3 memory. Video support, you could either use that Thunderbolt digital video output, or you could use the HDMI with the converter that I told you about. You could also find um, converters to use a VGA if, if you'd like. Audio, again, you have the uh, audio out. There is a built-in speaker. It sounds pretty tinny, but what do you expect for such a small unit? It, uh, so it's actually surprisingly good for what it is. Let's see. Oh, also, I almost forgot this HDMI, you know, that also allows sound to come out, you know, through the HDMI interface. And we already went over all the external connections. Uh, again, the, there is an IR on the front. This thing does not have a CD or DVD drive, but you can buy this external uh, super driver. You could just use any old one that you want. Uh, I'll tell you, as time goes by, I, I haven't been using these things as much as I used to. Also, there's all kinds of uh, wireless stuff going on here. You have Wi-Fi, which is a 802.11n. You have Bluetooth version 4. 
in this thing. And again, I already showed you the gigabit port. This thing uses very little electricity. It's very, very quiet. It's a pretty efficient little unit. Just be warned, this is going to be a pretty, pretty long video. But I thought it'd be fun to show you what I go through to bring a, a video to you. So I have an SD card in my hand. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the mini. And I'm going to go ahead and import um, one of the shots that I did with my video camera. Now, like I said, I uh, recorded this in the iframe format. So all I have to do is basically um, just grab that movie. Let's see where I put it. Right there. Hmm. I uh, actually took three shots. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab all three of these here. I think, I can't remember if one of them was screwed up or not. But I'm just going to go ahead and import them all. And I'm going to call this uh, Mac Mini. To create an event down here. Now I want this to be in uh, whoops into full format, and you're gonna get a warning. Yeah, it's gonna take a a little bit more time to process, and I don't want to do any optimization. I just want it full. Now it's importing these videos and it's relatively quick. My old Mac Mini from 2009, it took uh, two to three times longer than this this new one is uh, doing. <laughs> um, uh, th this is a joy because it used to take me hours and hours and hours to bring videos to you and now it's just so much quicker. Okay, uh, I just wanted to speed right ahead here so you didn't have to wait as long. And you can see that it's generating some thumbnails, so you'll you'll start seeing uh, those show up down here. And there we go. So there are some of the video clips right there. I think this is the one I screwed up with, and then here's the one where I didn't screw up. So actually, I'm uh, I'm going to reject this clip right here. So I don't get myself confused later. So we'll just reject that entire clip. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start a project. Because this is just where you import crap. And I already have some stuff, uh, some sound, separate audio that I did with my mic. And I did some screenshots. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And... I always use this newscast theme, but I don't let it automatically do the transitions. And I'll get the name, the, the, the name of the project, which is, uh, I'm going to call actually call this the um, Making Videos with the New actually I'm gonna, it's going to too long so with the 2012 mac mini there we go and that'll be the title of this video and we'll do create by the way i'm using a piece of software called imovie this comes with your mac mini it is very powerful for a, a freebie basically it, it's part of uh the suite of crap that you get with the Mac Mini. Now I did install Office on here, which it didn't come with it. Anyway, so I have a project here. Now one of the first things I do is I got my little intro that I had created a while back. So I want to go ahead and add that into my video. So we just click and drag. Click and drag. Alright, and you can see how that goes. And then we'll go back here to Mac Mini which is the event that I had created. And we're going to select this entire clip and click and drag. Click and drag right there. See? And then my next scene was this. So right click, select, 
and pop that in there. Now, my next scene that I had done keeps on uh, getting mail up there. Uh, let's see, it was a screenshot that I had done. So we'll just go ahead and I think I could just import that in here. Maybe not. I don't remember. I'm going to have to separately import these. So I have to go to iMovie, File, gotta import those movies and those are located in my movie folder so go ahead and grab all three of these and it's already going to import into the Mac Mini in full size like I said this is going to be a very very long video but uh I, th I thought it would be kind of neat just to show you how, you know, I go through doing a video. By the way, this little Mac Mini, while we're waiting, it does not come with a keyboard or mouse for that $599 or a monitor. Basically, it's bring your own keyboard, mouse, monitor. Now, if you're upgrading from an old Mac Mini, you're, you're all set because you already got all that stuff. Or even a, you could use any old computer uh, keyboard or mouse with this thing. Just not PS2, though. <laughs> so... You can see here's the uh, clips here that you all probably already saw. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of these. I'm not going to show you the whole thing of what I go through with this. And I'm going to put a transition in right here. Now I can just click on this guy here and I can choose whatever transitions I want. Now I usually do a cross dissolve at the very beginning so it just doesn't pop in your face when you first start a video start the video and then I need a transition between these two I don't use the transition for before and after my logo my uh, intro here let's see what are we gonna use I think this one would be kind of cool we do this one you just click and drag everything about this is click and drag And I'll let you see how that looks. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Now, I'm going to have to start doing some fine detail here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And you could, you know, I could also set this up as a timeline, but I prefer to doing it in this version. Now you can hear my audio actually starts right there. Now here is the audio clip that I had recorded using QuickTime, which is what I'm using to do the screenshot right now. And I'm going to click and drag this over here. And now I have to synchronize my audio. You know, because the, the camera's audio is not that good compared to my Yeti microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and try to line this up. And here's what it sounds like if I don't synchronize my audio. So I have to try to synchronize my audio. There we go. And you can hear it's, it still sounds off. And I gotta get, sort of guess which way it's going. Oops, too far. Just a hair more. Yep, I go through all of this every time. So there we go. So now I'm going to take away the audio that the camera used. And now we'll strictly use the Yeti's audio. Pretty neat, huh? Now I don't need any audio, audio prior to me talking here. So I'm going to go ahead and split this, and then I could go ahead and delete this portion. And then you know you don't need me see you don't need to see all this stuff where I'm getting ready. <laughs> see, I go through all this trouble, get myself seated, and get the audio started before I actually before you see me, <laughs> basically. So you don't need to see any of that. So I'll we'll go ahead and delete all that. 
Okay. Do a little bit more here. All right, now. You can hear me say stay tuned right there. So again, we're going to split, delete, and we're going to go ahead and grab this, right click, delete, and I basically have my intro here. So let me see, I got 11, 11 seconds here. This is five seconds, so I got a total of 16 seconds. I think I'm going to go ahead and do my intro where the music is playing through my, my intro scene and my my gear obsession logo here so I grab a uh, music all the all this all these sound effects and music and everything come with iMovie which is another pretty neat thing all right so this is 17 seconds from the audio that I use for my intro and we'll go ahead and Put it right there at the beginning. Now, of course, the audio is going to be way too loud. You hear that? So I got to sort of bring that down to about 14, 14, 15. Pretty neat, huh? Now, when we hit the little Gear Obsession logo thingy, this is where I sort of increase the audio a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this. Whoops. <laughs> All right. And bring the audio to about 50%. I don't want to blow your, your socks off by going too much higher. And then I sort of fade it when it starts hitting the next scene. Okay. So all this work, and I got the intro done. The first, This is basically my first 17 seconds of my video. Here it goes. Okay, so you can see how much work just 17 seconds is, but um, pretty cool, huh? I uh, I forgot one thing though. I didn't uh, show you how I add titles to the videos here. Let me uh, expand this a little bit. You know, sometimes I'll I'll put what the item is in the in a little red thing down here. Um, where is it? Go to T for title. And I have all different ways of inserting text and things like that in there. So I usually use this guy here for my videos. And I will go ahead and, you know, change the title for whatever I want it to be. And again, this is going to be making videos with the 2012... Mac Mini Man Mini I can't spell Ugh For the love of Pete There we go And I like to have that show up right when I say You know what the item is Okay, so you can sort of see how that looks. Now, as you already noticed that my audio is separate from the camera, and right now you're hearing what the camera would be hearing, and when I and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly just explain how I do the audio, and then you'll hear it change. I'll sort of leave it in there so you can hear how this sounds. <laughs> So I have my Blue Yeti hooked up to the Mac also, and I start up QuickTime Player, which also comes with the Mac Mini, and I just select uh, New Audio, and it just comes up with a little window, and then 
I hit record and now it's recording so now you hear what the Blue Yeti sounds like and I put it together in iMovie and I synchronize it and then you get this better audio so there you go that that's basically the the basics of what I go through to put together a video which I do twice a week for you guys um, what made me think about this was the Army Channel Armory Channel had a video about having things on the set to make it interesting and he sort of explained a couple of things as far as making a new channel on YouTube and and things to recommend to make the channel interesting you know don't <laughs> I love it where and it's so right where people just take their camera with the iPhone and then you see these big black lines on each side and you get this little strip and you know you, you go to a a video on YouTube on someone's channel, the videos are like that. They're they're gone. They're out of there. You got to have an HD camera. Uh, you got to have decent audio. You got to try not to mumble, which I do a lot. But and you have to have interesting things on the set. I think like every video that I do, someone asks me about, hey, what program do you use to do this map? <laughs> this is nothing but a TV set right here. This is a TV set, and it's a channel channel. 203 that I put on here and it just shows radar <laughs> so that's all it is so what this video is about is basically how I use my new Mac mini to put together videos for here on YouTube for the gear obsession channel so I hope uh, some inspiring youtubers uh, maybe you could catch this video and Maybe uh, start up some new channels so we have some more interesting things to watch and learn. So thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.